JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing at stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brookstone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. The folks in the Blaine Wood Barn are very familiar with the ups and downs of quarter horse racing, but this has been a very uneven summer by anyone's standards. Back in June, Wood's record-setting two-year-old valiant war hero suddenly got the colic and died. Then, on the very night following a great runner-up effort by Bodacious Dash in the Rainbow Derby, Wood's highly regarded Rainbow Futurity Colt, He's Our Secret, also became a colic victim. Fortunately, his situation was not fatal. We have, we got He's Our Secret back. We do think he's one of our guns. Uh, very disappointing not to get to run in Rainbow, but we made that choice. Uh, he didn't have as serious problem as we initially thought, which is great. He is back. Uh, we're hopefully gonna take him to California and run him, you know, later in the year in the two million. But uh, he's doing super. Uh, I'm really excited about him and uh, we still got him. You know, he, he's, he's sound and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that horse. Now, with the pendulum swinging upward again, the Wood Barn hopes to have some All-American fun. They ran in 15 of the 26 time trials and came away with three qualifiers. It felt like it was about two weeks long. You know, I thought we started in the first, ended in the last. Uh, everything that it can do, weather-wise, it did. But you know when you enter up for the All-American, they're not going to run the All-American anywhere else but Rio Dosa. So you better just get ready for some of that. And, uh, uh, it, you know, it can blow you in, it can blow you out. It can rain you in, it can rain you out. But that's Rio Dosa, and uh, it, uh, that's just part of it. It was right at noon when Lethal Volt ran down Mr. E's 1-2-3 to post the seventh fastest time. It was easily the Colts' best effort. We started him off as pretty green. You know, this, of course, it's been a lot of people's plan to try to get in this race. Ours just happened to work this time. But, uh, yeah, we've kind of brought him into this slow, and hopefully he's peaking on Labor Day. Another who seems to be getting better is Just Send Me. She failed to qualify for either the Ruidoso or Rainbow Futurities, but at 10 till 3, she rolled down the outside to post the fifth best All-American time. She's a little more flighty, top filly. She's took a little extra time to get her mind right. Uh, I think she's uh, kind of coming into herself. She's figured out what's going on. Big, big filly. That's been a lot of her problem. She's almost too big for her own good. But now she's kind of her mind's grown with her body. Really a pretty filly, really, a, really to deal with. Uh, a new client, new owner, first time horse. We're elated, he's elated. Who, uh, who are you on? It's Tommy Turner, and uh, they're from Texas. Uh, we bought this filly for him last year. It's worked out superbly. You know, it don't always happen this easy. But uh, we've probably spoiled Tommy now. It's his first horse, and it can run. <laughs> then Rainbow Juvenile winner Denver Pass hooked up with Rainbow Futurity third place finisher Jess Cuervo. It was 6:20 in the evening. We thought the qualifying was pretty much over. It rained real hard, you know, and and the track got a little deeper. The wind did this and did that, and we was kind of singing the blues. You know, we had a couple of good coats that ran good, and you know, we didn't think we was going to get in. And then that race come up, and those two horses hooked up. You know, Raymond's horse and, and then Denver Pass, and they run good, and they, you know, they, they look fast. Of course, I can say that now, but it really did. It looked fast. And it was, with the pair posting the fourth and sixth fastest times. I got to give a lot of credit to Trey, uh, my son, Paul, our assistant, and then all the grooms. It's, it's a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of long hours, but that's what we do. That's what we, we love to do. But uh, it's a lot of fun when you can be in that top ten for that, for that race. Blaine has already been around one All-American winner. It was Pie in the Sky, trained by his father, Leo Wood, in 1979. Just to qualify for it nowadays, or any times a feat, it, it, no matter what we do in the finals, we are tickled to death. And sure, we want to win it. You know, you're not in a race you don't want to win, but it would really be nice to sit on the front porch one of these days and say, hey, we did that too. 
It seemed like it's really, really helped my program. I've had no OCDs in my babies, and when they get to the track, uh, first start breaking them, we haven't had problems going into it. And it seems like to me that the horses grow a little more and, and really develop better with the, the cow density to get them ready to, to get on the track and start the program. And we had real good luck with it the last couple of years, keeping the horses a little sounder and, and winning a lot of races. This coming fall, join Heritage Place in Oklahoma City for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 15th. So mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in Oklahoma City. This three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us, Heritage Place, where champions are sold. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.